Three weeks now until midterm elections, and with both houses of Congress in play, both parties are fighting hard to secure those final votes. CBS News congressional correspondent Nancy Cordes is in Westover, West Virginia this morning with more. Nancy, good morning. Jeff, good morning to you. West Virginia has not sent a Republican to the Senate since 1958, but that streak could be in jeopardy. So the Democrat, Governor Joe Manchin, is pulling out the big guns. In his new ad, Democrat Joe Manchin takes aim at a favorite Republican target. I'll take on Washington and this administration to get the federal government off of our backs and out of our pockets. Governor Manchin had been seen as a shoo-in for the Senate seat. Now he's neck and neck with Sarah Palin-backed Republican John Racy. What happened uh, you know, at that time in history uh, in Germany is absolutely one of the worst atrocities uh, in, you know, in the history of man. In Ohio, Tea Party candidate Rich Ayat would love to get the conversation back to politics. Instead, it's all about the pictures that emerged over the weekend of him wearing a Nazi SS uniform. He says it's part of a historical reenactment program meant to educate the public. And this is not just something to do for fun. This is act actually serious business to keep the uh, to keep the truth alive. In New York, another Tea Party darling, gubernatorial hopeful Carl Palladino, isn't backing down. After taking heat for his outspoken opposition to gay marriage, he made his feelings on gay pride marches crystal clear. Have you ever been to one? The men wear little speedos and they grind on each other. Would you take your children there? I don't think so. Here in West Virginia, voters say they're frustrated by all the distractions. The candidates, they say, are running against Washington and President Obama. When they, what they want to hear is what they do to help West Virginia. Jeff. All right, Nancy Cordes in Westover, West Virginia this morning. Nancy, thank you.